Well, Cage, a terrific game of cricket last oh. night. Unfortunately oh. for the Aussies, they didn't get through, of course, in Mahali against India. Cage, they lost by one wicket, but it all started in the second innings when the Aussies were all out for 192. Oh, there's no doubt about that, gentlemen. They're batting in the second innings. Uh, they were none for 87 at one stage, and they had that collapse, and uh, that, uh, that certainly uh, was the reason why they were beaten. Although, having said that, they had their chance to knock India over, but uh, we saw a wonderful dig by VVS Laxman. He played absolutely sensational. A couple of uh, controversial umpiring decisions, but all in all, uh, that is what Test Cricket is all about. To finish the way that game did last night was a great promotion for Test Cricket. Fantastic. All right, the Aussies came back and them. Hilfen House was terrific with the ball great. cage. At one Swung stage, them. they had him five for 119. Yep. And then eight for 124. But yeah. your man, Laxman, 73 not out. Couldn't get rid of him. No, played superbly. Uh, it, it, the, the bowling was interesting. Uh, uh, Horrocks didn't bowl at the end there. Now, he's our main mm. spinner, so that would suggest to me, mind you, his previous uh, couple of spells weren't all that flash. So uh, where does that leave Nathan Horrocks? When you, you're in a situation like that, you, you bowl your, you, you lock your main bowlers, and uh, uh, that, that didn't happen as Marcus North was brought on. So all right, you talk about your main bowlers. Yeah. Bollinger arrived in only ah. a couple of days before, Cage. Well, Abdomen strain for I him. That did, well, yes, you have said that you don't like that side of it. It's, it's, it's just not on. You just can't arrive in a country like India two days before you play a test match. It's just too difficult. You've got to prepare yourself. He came from South Africa, playing in the, in the Champions League there, the 2020 affair. It's ridiculous. Australia have got to say to, the, to their players, if you sign a contract with, with another organisation and it clashes with, with the test side, you've got an out, have an out clause in your contract. Not good enough. And as we saw yesterday, Bollinger breaks down. Yeah, it was a change in the in the calendar there. But Cricket Australia, you're right, Cage. They have to have some guidelines to help the players and exactly. say, look, we come into India seven days. We've got to be there on day one of that seven days to prepare. Otherwise, if you want to stay in India, that's fine. We'll select someone else. Well, look at the Poms. Now, I've been saying for years now that in previous occasions when the, when the Poms come here for the Ashes, they play one game, one four-day game, then they play a game at Lilac Hill. That preparation, to me, wasn't good enough. Now, they're playing a lot more first-class games before the first test. They are preparing themselves, and that's got to happen to Australia. All right, all out for 192, Callum Ferguson, Cage. We better give him a push, because oh. you're not going to get it anywhere else. If you're not in South Australia, Cage, they must think they can't get anything <laughs> good out of South Australia. Honestly, Callum Ferguson on fire at the moment. Yeah, of course he they're is. trying to talk up Phil Hughes and bump the batting order all over the place. It, it, Surely. Callum Ferguson deserves a chance, general, as gen more than Phil Hughes does. General, you're spot on. Like they're, they're talking about bringing Phil Hughes in and dropping Watson down there. Caddick and Watson have been a very, and are, a very successful combination. Don't change the batting order. You've got a young man here in South Australia oh. who's just been to Darwin and South Africa. Tearing it up. Making plenty of runs in Cullen Ferguson. Drop Marcus North, bring in Cullen Ferguson. That's not hard. <laughs> and leave the batting order the same. <laughs> hey, that's ABC stuff. All right, seems similar to you and me, Cage. The Commonwealth Games, oh, uh, a bit hey. of a scare overnight. They had a bomb scare, Cage. It was a hoax, of course, but Jeez. two hours of the bomb squad and the dogs in there and then uh, young 16-year-old kid did it as a prank. Well, how, how, how disappointing is that? But I've got to say, I, I watched them last night, and it's so, so disappointing. There was nobody oh, I there. I feel sorry for the athletes. I agree, I, I watched Cage. the no cycling, crowd. and, and there, there was nobody there. Mind you, would you go with all the, all the uh, uh, signs about a, a terrorist threats and bombings? Would you go? Probably not. Yes. But let's let's look at the positive side, though. Cage, oh, second great. day, five more yeah. gold medals for the Aussies. Anna Mears, of course, 500 metre time trial. 0.46 yeah. of a second she was off, breaking the world record. Unbelievable Cage. So she right. broke her own Commonwealth yeah. Games record, but she's riding terrific. Uh, Scotty Sunderland, he got gold in the 1,000 metre time trial. Jack Bobridge, gee, he I is going to be a star, Cage. I'm telling you, 4,000 metre, yep, broke Brad McGee's Commonwealth yeah. Games yeah. record in the ride. qualifying, actually, mm. which was set back I in love Manchester. The I think it's great. Leaston Pickett took the gold in the 50 metre mm. butterfly. Most were expecting Liesl Jones to get that one, but young Pickett showed her up. And of course, the women's gymnastics, their fourth consecutive team gold medal. Cage, I've got to tell you, I watched it last no, night. I, I... Six falls there were. Six. Yeah. Aussies fell, yeah. and they still won gold. Canada and England apparently have only seen their second. I think the Aussies could still beat them, but you can't have six falls in a team event <laughs> get a gold medal. Well, you wouldn't think that. So. Well, first, look. second or third cage, you know where I am on this. Yeah. Don't think there should be gold, silver or bronze. 
at the Commonwealth Fair Games. Enough. First, yeah. second and third. Fair Gold, point. silver and bronze for world events or Olympic Games. Olympic that's games. I, I, I must confess I admire the gymnasts, but it doesn't turn me on. I, I can tell Gee, you. They're tough, I tell oh, you. They're that, tough. Though, coach. They are no, very, very, very tough. Just quickly before we go, Motlop up for trade. You can see him at Fremantle or the West Coast. Don't know whether he'll go there, but I reckon Port will do a deal there. I, I, I think the, the longer it goes, Richard Tamling from, from Richmond will, will come to Adelaide. For the life of me, I, I'm, I'm staggered that Adelaide are keen to you get don't him in. Like him coach. No, with all due respect to the young man, I haven't. He, he's, I've never seen he's him a play. Talent. He's, he's a well, terrific he, talent. Maybe well, Craig, he can get in his mind, and he, he's been under some pressure at Richmond. The fans have been on him. They've well, been booing him. A change of environment. He might fire it up. Well, I hope you're right. Talent's one thing, but being able to produce it is another. And I've never seen him produce it. And uh, Sam Jacobs, that deal is sort of uh, oh, a long his mate. Well, Carlton said we want more than your first round draft pick. Well, that, they want pick 14, and Adelaide said, no, you're not getting it. So what happens there? We'll have to wait and see, gentlemen. Well, it's all happening. You know what it is, Cage. Either give us it or don't get it. Correct, so it's one or the other. It doesn't normally go too exactly. many other ways. Got to, so. got to give to get. All right.